Hey good people, Batavia here. So we're talking all things containers today. We have about 60 containers we're growing vegetables in, herbs, and then we did sneak some fruit in as well. Okie doke, so the city is waking up, but we have overcast, which should make for some good viewing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a walk around and we'll talk housekeeping items, but then I'll also be able to show you how the containers are situated. So, quick thank yous to those who like, watch, comment, share, and subscribe to Be Better Garden. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, consider it. And if you do, you can hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted each time I share more garden videos. Alrighty, so for containers this year, we have around 60 that we're actively growing in. And we started back in the spring. Um, we're growing through the summer in containers. Today is July the 11th, 2022. I am in Chicago, Illinois in the US. I garden in zone six. And uh, one of my goals is to grow a lot of things, but to use different techniques, different methods, um, different growing mediums, and exploring kind of what does well under what circumstances. And containers have really been a great tool, if you will, to help me do that. Uh, this year, the majority of the containers are in the backyard, so that's where we're going to spend the most of our time. And then we'll do, towards the end, a quick walkthrough of what's growing in containers in the front yard. So, I have the cage baby. I've opened the doors to be able to give a good look at some of the containers inside here. We have, and if I note it, I'll note the things that I purchased and planted. Everything else would be something that I started from seed, indoors, and then transplanted out, or I direct sowed. So kicking that off, I have strawberry plants absolutely purchased. I have them here. They're also in containers here. They're inside of this cage to protect them from birds and squirrels. Um, I have read some things about tomatoes and strawberries not being friendly. So I don't know if they'll live here in the next couple of years, but we'll see. I have some carrots that were direct sowed in this container, some basil that I'm pretty sure I transplanted. Um, doing well, this is that lettuce leaf basil. That's just beautiful. I have to come in before these leaves start to change colors and get this harvested. I kind of have this pulled out only because um, underneath here it doesn't get watered as well as I'd like, you know, just naturally through the rain. Um, and then this is a shadier spot of the garden because of the deck compared to everything that's kind of in the center of the garden. Um, so I pulled that out a bit. Uh, that's some volunteer cilantro as well. These are beets I direct sowed. I sowed my beets last year, like the very beginning of April, the first week. They did wonderful. I got behind, didn't get beets sowed until maybe May or June, and I'm not sure if they'll actually produce um, the heads, the heat for this variety, maybe too much, we'll see. But check out the ground cherry. First year growing them, I have them in three places, and two of those three are containers. The one in the front yard is looking pretty pitiful, but this plant looks pretty good. I was checking online to see kind of what the size are. Everyone talks about how many like you'll have more than you, you'll know what to do with. Um, and so I wasn't sure about kind of how big or small the plants get. Um, so we'll see if this works out. Shout out two times to Bubble Beat here on YouTube who I've followed over the years. He's the first one I saw using these busboy containers, which are seven gallons. And then I also saw him recently, or maybe the video may not be recent, but I saw him uh, plant out ground cherries in a container like that. So I gave it a whirl more beets here uh, let's see let's go over the grow bags so 20 gallon grow bag here 10 gallons and then 20 gallon on the end so second year trying to grow sweet corn last year was a success we have sweet corn that was sowed direct sowed in June ish uh, and then we have some herbs that um, were basically planted out, started from seed last year in 2021, planted out in this bag, brought indoors for the winter. 
I did well initially then started to struggle when I brought it out this spring cut everything down and then things started to grow back you see a lot that's flowering which is fine because the pollinators will love it uh, so this is parsley some oregano uh, that is flowering I have just one itty bitty mint plant I think in the whole garden I started some mint this year from seed but um, I struggled with getting my herbs planted I couldn't figure out where I wanted them and the mint was uh, sacrificed based on that um, so potatoes here white potatoes are in a lot of places in the garden in a lot of containers Brussels sprouts big thank yous to those who watch my recent garden mistake slash garden journey video where we talk about Brussels sprouts quite a bit um, I'll link that in case you're interested zucchini this the plant struggled I've gotten one plant one uh, veggie off of it and I'm keeping an eye out on it there's some more fruit but I haven't been able to track to see I, I think that the flowers haven't opened so I actually hand pollinated the one that I got which is not my jam but you know I just I don't know when the plant or if the plants gonna be attacked by squash vine borers so I'm trying to get what I can get off of it while I can get it here is a treat because I have broccoli here again 10 gallons and as the broccoli was finishing up this goes back to June I actually just dug my hands on either side and dropped a seed potato because I had a bunch of those left and so we'll see what this produces just two seed potatoes I'm pretty sure in there so true garden confession I have struggled year after year to grow tomatoes in containers and so I have gone bigger this is 20 gallons and there's still a struggle this is actually a patio tomato so it's intended to be smaller um, and I'm not sure what the deal is I will say as a side note uh, for my watering for many years up until 2020 all the way through 2020 so from 2008 through 2020 I only hand water my garden in 2021 I decided because of how large it was and how long it takes me to water I put out a sprinkler in the backyard it's tucked in there it normally sits about here and then I put a sprinkler in the front yard and it works well until I start to get nervous about kind of the condition of some plants so I bring it up now because I don't know it to be true but it feels like my tomatoes have suffered much sooner in the season and I wonder if that's from the increased overhead watering right you know so obviously rain is overhead watering but um, so that all that said I last year around this time after overhead watering through sprinklers for maybe a month a month and a half I reverted back to kind of what I know what I'm comfortable with which is hand watering and that's what I'm probably gonna do this year all right moving on to the containers probably one of the handfuls of pepper plants that ha didn't get planted and at this point in the season I'm not gonna plant it out but I will harvest this pepper um, so we have habanada which I loved last year one of the many reasons why I try to give a few things a new try a few new things to try each year this is supposed to be a sweet version of the habanero and it was delicious one of the tastiest peppers I had in the garden last year um, so two of those plants if you try to grow it only two years experience but they were uber small for a long time super small compared to other plants um, as I started them from seed super small as I put them out they're just starting to get some size on them I did a dahlia tuber there and a dahlia tuber here but this one didn't come up so I came back just yesterday and direct sowed some bush beans I think I did one plant here here and here or at least one seed and we'll hope that they produce I should have plenty of time in my season moving on to one of my favorite kind of corners I have a couple of them so this is one of my favorite corners as well as the fence with the bucket but for this space so the grow bags here are the only new addition to my container garden this year and these are seven gallon grow bags just a quick note for whatever reason I thought these would be taller I guess I'll have in my mind five gallon grow bags um, or I'm sorry five gallon buckets and then think about how they look um, but they definitely are shorter and wider 
which is probably a better thing right um so you know I'm not going to question the designers of it like you should have made this taller but that's what i was expecting but i'm pretty pleased with the way that these are from the spread um, i'm doing uh, peppers here this is a pepper that i labeled oh i think this is giant marconi uh which is oh i love this pepper all right so i'm really giving this a shot i normally crowd it in garden spaces and i really don't get a chance to like let the pepper get to its full potential um, this is a new pepper plant to me, a Wisconsin Lake, which has been planted out for, I don't know, a month and a half now. Not impressed. We'll see what happens with it. I'm hoping it changes my mind. There's some basil that I dropped in here. Lettuce leaf basil. Um, I waited until, because I direct sowed this, I waited until it got some height on it. And I'm going to come back in and mulch this. I'll probably just use some leaf, shredded leaves as mulch. This is, I think it's a, I think it's a habanada. Yeah, it looks like a habanada as well. Oh, that's so exciting. Um, so I grew it, I maybe had two plants last year. And when I tasted the pepper, I just thought, oh, I need to grow more. So I started a bunch of them, but only a few made it into the garden. So I'm so pleased to see this. This is, I think, I'll correct it if not, but a 2.5 gallon container. And I bought these as a part of, um, like two pepper plants and a Roma tomato um, and just save the plants because I thought that I ended up pulling the plants out of the containers and planted them in the garden that year but save the containers themselves uh, this looks like a serrano pepper now that I'm looking at it as it puts on fruit and then here is a shishito pepper so I don't know how many of these plants I have in the garden um, but I'm really gonna try this year to harvest them green it's everyone you see online who talks about how enjoyable they are like just with a bit of oil and like um, sauteing them until they blister they have them green and I tend to wait until they get fully mature and red and then use them for some other things but I'm gonna really try to focus on that this year uh, so beans and eggplants here bush beans purple bush beans which um, I don't know so a little bit on the struggle bus and then I have a eggplant Based on the size container, my logic would have been to put a little finger eggplant here. But my logic doesn't always hold true. But we think that's a little finger eggplant. Uh, potatoes here. Well, that's one of my favorite corners. This is probably my number one favorite space. 